Welcome back to the Westmoreland Sports Network pregame show, getting you ready for Penn Trafford and McKeesport. And as promised, we're being joined now by quarterback Zach Emmerich. And uh, first of all, Zach, if you go back to last week against Connellsville, um, your coach said after the game you guys were a little bit sloppy on the offensive side of the football. Um, what kind of happened offensively for you guys last week against the Falcons? And uh, what were you able to do in practice this week to get ready for McKeesport? Uh, you know, last week I felt like, you know, we might have lost focus a little bit. You know, you never want to turn the ball over four times. You never want to lose a turnover, turnover battle in a game. Uh, this week we came out and practiced practice had a lot more focus and you know we're making sure we take care of the ball this week. Uh, Zach, if you can rewind here uh, just a couple of weeks ago, I wanted to ask you about the uh, the win against Gateway. Uh, you get the ball back at the 26-yard line. You guys drive down and get the game-winning field goal by Matt Lochnane. Um, the beginning of that drive, was the plan kind of just to uh, to use your feet a little bit there in the first couple of plays to see what uh, what Gateway was going to give you? Yeah, you know, I mean, the main goal was, you know, we had to get the ball down the field and we had to do it quick. So, you know, whatever it took, we just had to get the ball down there. And then once we did, you know, Matt, you know, he was so clutch that night. had three field goals. You know, that was a heck of a kick by him. And I know we're going back here a couple of weeks, but I wanted to ask you, too, about the catch uh, by Mike Cumberledge there right along the sideline, kind of set up everything. Oh, yeah, that was such an athletic play. You know, I don't know how he got both his feet in, but, you know, he made a great play on that, and that's what set us up for the win. How much confidence do you have now going against McKeesport after big wins? Uh, you guys are obviously undefeated, a bunch of big wins this year, but especially in particular against Mount Lebanon and about, about, uh, against Gateway. Um, how much confidence do you guys have right now going up against the Tigers here tonight? You know, I think we're a confident group. We're not overconfident or anything like that. We know that McKeesport's a great team. They always have a great team, and you know, we, we're going to have to play our best game to beat them, and that's what we plan to do. Zach, before the season, uh, Coach Ruane said he wanted to give you a little bit more freedom with the offense. Um, how has that been going? Uh, is the offense where it's, it has to be right now, or are you guys just really getting better every week? Um, you know, I think we're getting better every week. You know, there's always plenty of room for improvement, and you know, that's our goal to improve every single week. But uh, yeah, I think we're definitely getting there. Talk a little about the pistol formation. That wasn't your base formation last year. You guys kind of went to it towards, I guess, the middle of the season. This year, it's kind of been your base. Um, what kind of advantages does that give you as a quarterback? Um, you, you know, you're already back there, so you don't have to worry about, you know, drop-ins, uh, things like that. And additionally, we could do more run game things out of it. Like, we could uh, run the option now out of that, and it makes it easier to run things like that. Talk a little about the McKeesport defense. Uh, they've lost a lot from last year, but they still have some pretty good guys over there. What have you seen from them defensively on film, and, and how do you come away really with a victory and do well on offense here tonight? Uh, you, you know, we just got to play. You know, we got to do our thing. They have tremendous athletes at McKeesport. They have great athletes every year, and we're just going to have to go out there, uh, you know, make our reads, make our blocks, and I think we should be okay. And, Zach, talk a little bit about your offensive line. I have to ask you about that because the guys up front just been doing the job this year, and obviously you and Manny and the other backs have to really appreciate that. Oh, yeah. I mean, for Manny, they open up huge holes, and, you know, I usually have a lot of time to throw the ball. I and mean, they've been great, and, you know, you can't ask for a better offensive line performance than what we have this year. Uh, Zach, I've been asking everybody a couple of questions, kind of the same questions. I have to ask you this, too. Um, is there anything in particular, uh, any kind of story that you can tell about getting into football, or really what made you attracted to the sport? I mean, was your family just kind of always into, into sports? or what really brought you into football? Um, well, actually, I never really played football until eighth grade. And, you know, it was, just, it was I came out because it was something to do. I didn't have anybody to hang out with outside of school. So I started playing football in eighth grade, and that's what it turned into. Then you got some people to hang out with, right? Yeah, yeah, that's basically what it was. Zach, one final thing for you. Uh, as you look ahead, um, you don't want to look uh, too far ahead, I guess. You still have your whole senior year to go. You're a basketball player and also uh, a baseball player. But um, what are you looking at right now as uh, for college, not only for athletics, but for a major as well? Um, I have no idea as far as athletics, but you know, I'd like to major in something like business, and you know, the athletics will take care of itself as the year progresses. Zach, thanks a lot for your time. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Zach Emmer, quarterback for the Penn Trafford Warriors, will be back on the pregame show in just a moment.